SOLIDWORKS Model Based Definition, or MBD for short, is an advanced tool that helps drive downstream manufacturing processes and reduce your product's time to market. With the modern manufacturing revolution, MBD must be versatile to ensure it fits all your company's needs. This four-part tutorial series will cover the major steps of the MBD workflow and outline the key features and benefits along the way. The MBD workflow consists of four major categories. Define, Organize, Prepare, and Publish. Feel free to check out the link below to download the models provided in this tutorial and follow along throughout the entire series. In part one, we will be covering the setup and define stages of the model-based workflow. We will begin with the NIST FTC 08 part. But before we get going, let's talk about MBD and a few settings we need to adjust that will assist us with the model-based process. First, we want to select the overall drafting standard that will be used. To access this setting, select Options, Document Properties, Drafting Standard, and for overall drafting standard, I'll select ANSI. SOLIDWORKS MBD is embedded technology to ensure any dimensions in PMI will correctly implement your desired drafting standard. Any additional settings related to annotations, dimensions, tables, and DIM expert, and many more can be found here. For now, we will leave the additional settings at their default values. Another useful technique is to add MBD commands to the shortcut toolbar, such as location dimension, size dimension, datum, and geometric tolerance. This way, we can hover anywhere inside the graphics window and press S on the keyboard, and the common commands will show at the cursor tip. To add commands, I will right click anywhere in the command manager, select customize, shortcut bars, make sure it is set to part, locate the DIM expert features, and add the following. This shortcut can save a lot of mouse travel and is well loved by many users. Remember, settings can be customized to your company's needs and saved for repeated use. Now that we have adjusted SOLIDWORKS for model based practices, let's begin defining our model. The first step to defining any model is to set up base annotation views. Setting up annotation views before defining the model will save time in the long run and enable the use of a handy shortcut that will be shown later in this tutorial. Annotation views are view planes in which your product manufacturing information and annotations are assigned to. To create an annotation view, just right click annotations, insert annotation view, select viewing plane, and click OK. I will also create two additional annotation views one for the right view and one for the top view. That way I can easily assign annotations to any plane of the model which becomes important in part two of this tutorial when we capture views for our 3D PDF. Once our annotation views are set up we can add some annotations to the model. SOLIDWORKS MBD contains two main tools to help define your model. Let's create a few dimensions and talk about the capabilities that it has to offer. I will start with a location dimension, which is used primarily for positioning a wide array of features, faces, edges, and reference geometry. The ability for users to select a wide range of items saves time and frustration by limiting the amount of model rotation and movement. To create a location dimension, simply select any face or edge to begin, then select which item you want to locate it to. This is when having pre-created annotation views comes in handy. I can immediately place it on any viewing plane with the use of the keyboard shortcut tilde key. This technique of orienting dimensions before placing them will help you stay organized and increase your working efficiency. The size dimension tool is primarily used for features of size such as hole callouts, fillets, slots, and more. This tool works in the exact same manner as a location dimension. Let's create a size dimension for this hole by selecting an edge or face, but before we place the callout, notice when I selected the first item a heads up display appeared. It's here where we can specify what type of geometry has been selected. Depending on the item you select, the options will vary. I will now switch models using the Control Tab keyboard shortcut to demonstrate further capabilities. Oftentimes, features and items of a model need to be manufactured in a specific way. The DIM Expert Heads Up menu caters to these specific needs. For example, in the event that we'll be punching out sections of sheet metal, it helps to locate the center of the cutout instead of an edge. The Width command allows us to do this. I'll select location dimension, select the first face of the width feature, select the width feature itself, select the second face of the width feature, and then select the face that I want to locate the width feature to. 
Using the tilde key, I'll select my desired annotation view and drop the dimension. I will switch models once again. Another great example of specific manufacturing needs is to create compound features, which are features that will be manufactured and inspected together continuously as a single feature of size. Correctly representing continuous features removes any ambiguity over manufacturing documentation. SolidWorks MBD has the capabilities to create compound holes and compound faces. I will show a compound hole. So select your first hole, select compound hole, select the second hole, click OK, and drop the dimension. The next specific need in common manufacturing practice is to dimension to the stock size and not the machine size. With Dim Expert, we can easily dimension to intersection lines, points, and circles. Let's create a location dimension that covers the stock size before machining the fillets. To do so, select location dimension, select your initial face, select the intersection line feature, and select the perpendicular face and click OK. Now let's repeat the process for the feature that we want to locate it to. Select your initial face, select the intersection line feature, and select the perpendicular face. Notice that MBD creates dotted lines that represent the pre-machined stock. The last DIM Expert feature that applies to specific manufacturing needs is the ability to create annotations for patterned features. Oftentimes, sets of holes will be manufactured together using the same tools and datums, which is why they are dimensioned as patterns. SolidWorks MBD intelligently recognizes feature patterns, limiting the amount of mouse clicks and time because we don't have to manually pick all the faces one by one. The combined callout will also save the screen space and alleviate crowded PMI displays. To create a pattern annotation, let's select the Size Dimension tool. Select the hole contained in the pattern, notice the automatic pattern recognition, and place the call out. It's important to note that in each of these cases that have been shown, SolidWorks MBD maintains the cross highlighting between the model and its PMI, but more importantly maintains the semantic representation of the model. The next step along the MBD workflow is to configure your annotation using the DIM Expert Property Manager. This is essentially the control center of each annotation. We can select tolerance types, we can change the precision of the dimension, we can change the precision of the tolerance, we can add text, keep in mind the text is not semantic, and we can even add symbols. Next we can even change the leader, we can change it to the outside or the inside. The next feature that we can control is the custom text position. This is where we can control whether the text is horizontal or vertical. This really helps when organizing your PMI. And lastly, we can even change the font. Here I'll just change the text size. The final step in defining our model is to add some datums and geometric tolerances. Datums are the instance or plane in which all annotations are measured to. In other words, they are the fixed starting points for component inspection. A geometric tolerance is a concise callout used in engineering documentation that contains symbols, rules, vocabulary, and standards to help communicate part information to the manufacturer. SolidWorks MBD offers intuitive tools with functional cross-highlighting for both datums and geometric tolerances to help save time and accurately define your model. To insert a datum, select the datum tool, title it to your desire, Select any face, plane, or feature, and drop the datum. The tool will automatically create additional datums in alphabetical order. I will add B and C. Once you have finished placing all your datums, simply click OK. To insert a geometric tolerance, select the tool from the command manager. The tolerance menu now appears. Here we can select the type of tolerance, change the tolerance value, add reference datums, and place the callout. Once we're all set, we can just click OK. Notice the geometric tolerance also has cross highlighting. From here I will transition to a fully defined model to demonstrate the next phase of the MBD workflow. 
please see part 2 to continue on with the video series. For additional feature tutorials, please see the link below.